So this year, Paul has a different machine. Last year, you had the liquid handling robot, correct? That's that's right. Um, and actually, it's also a liquid handling robot this year. But what? it's it's a different model with uh, some different features. If you want to see what he's got, make sure you watch the rest of this video. Stay tuned. All right, Paul, so welcome back to Earth. It's good to see you again. And you have a, this thing's got multiple heads, color changing. Why don't you tell me what you got? Yeah, so this is my take on a, on a tool changer. And the inspiration for this actually comes from a, a microscope carousel. Like on a microscope, you've got multiple objective lenses and you rotate them around and you only have one down at a time. And actually, that was a direct inspiration for this because I had this whole frame, which I picked up from government surplus, and I was thinking about what I wanted to do, and I thought, well, I'm going to do a tool changer type setup. And uh, I walk into my laboratory, and I saw the microscope. And that was actually, it was like, ah, it was like that little spark of inspiration that was like, that's how I'll try and exactly do the tool changing. So that's what we have here. So tell me how many heads you got and kind of like a little bit I how it works, can you? Sure, it's, it's got five independent hot ends, so those are, those are the five heads. And basically what you have is just a hobby servo up on top, which turns around the heads to different positions. And I've got a, a mock-up right here to kind of show you how it works. So, oh, I'm sorry. That's, a, that's okay. Okay, yeah, so it's... Um, it uses a, a, a detent system and you rotate around and so the hobby servo just has to get it close to the position it needs to be to lock that head into place. So it's a fairly robust system. Um, you know, it's, it does have some limitations, but it, it works relatively nicely for, you know, the type of prints that I'm trying to do on this. And what are you running as far as uh, motherboard and stuff like that? Yeah, so it, it's got a couple of other interesting features in that regard. So it's running Marlin on a stock Ramps 1.4 board. But if you look, the X and Y axes on this are actually closed loop DC servo motors, similar to the, the machine that I had last year. So in effect, um, you know, it's, it's a closed loop system. So there has to be some peripherals for that. So you've got some additional Arduinos to read the encoders and do the closed loop type system and then because the ramps 1.4 board doesn't have enough analog inputs for all of the hot ends there's a, an additional board up on top that does reads all the thermistors controls all the fans all those things so it's sort of a distributed system uh, in this in this setup and this obviously isn't something that somebody could go out and, and buy but uh, and considering that surplus and stuff, what would you say approximately you got into something like this? Cost-wise, you know, I probably, I probably spent four or five hundred dollars on on various components and and breaking things. I, I blew up one of the DC servo motors, so that was like a hundred dollars right there. Um, and what's the build volume? Uh, it's roughly something like 620 by 330 by uh, 400 millimeters. And this would be considered a Core XY style? No, it's not technically a Core XY uh, because you're actually moving motors. You're moving the, the Y motor with the X. So it's, I, I don't know if there's a specific name for this kinematic system, but. There is no other one like it. Uh, there may be, but I'm, I'm not, I don't know of it for sure. <laughs> Well, awesome, and uh, have you put anything on YouTube yet, or is it just pretty much just your own little enjoyment? I did have this at Murph, so there's a few videos of it, of it working at Murph. Um, the actual tool changing system that I have is available on, on Thingiverse, so that's there. I made that available if anybody does find something similar and wants to adapt the system. I'll put a link in the description as to where they can find that, but I appreciate you talking to me, and it's awesome to see what kind of invention you're going to turn uh, a liquid handling robot into. All right, thanks, Matt. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your time.